Hello and welcome to the Raymond Can Do It channel. And today I'm going to be talking about my bathroom renovation project. The first thing I had to do was I have to do the demo. This I've been working for four hours now. Um, the first part I was able to remove a framed shower glass enclosure. It had two sliding doors, so I just lifted it up off the track and was able to take those two doors out. And the shower frame is generally held by screws that are screwed into the wall or into the other parts of the frame. So once I was unscrewed those pieces, I was able to remove the shower frame. And the next step was to uh, take out all the tile. So the, the easiest way that I found was to use a flat bar and a hammer and go behind the tile and just start tapping away at the tile. You want to be careful when taking out tile because you don't know what's behind the wall. Uh, for example, I have an electrical outlet, uh, electrical wire here that runs into the light in the next room. And I also have this uh, PVC vent pipe right here. Uh, I think it vents out this jetted tub. So be careful when you're doing demo. You don't know if there's going to be wires, water pipes, uh, CPVC drain uh, vent pipes. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a reciprocating saw. This one, I don't have one, so I just bought one. Um, this is a WEN variable speed reciprocating saw. Uh, feel free to use the link below to purchase one. And my channel gets a couple of pennies and it's no additional cost to you. So I'm going to use this reciprocating saw and I'm going to chop up this bathtub. At first I tried to see if I could get it out in one piece, but it's just so large. Um, I'm not going to be able to do so. Jetta tubs uh, generally have this wooden frame, so I'm just going to cut the Jetta tub and just take it right out. So before removing the bathtub, the first thing to do is to cut off the water to your house. And also with a jetted bathtub like this, there's usually a electrical cord. So to make sure to unplug that. And then also the, the drain pipe, I was able to disconnect that. And then the water connections. So I was able to unscrew those. So a jetted bathtub generally has a wooden frame so I'm going to, now that the bathtub is free, I'm just going to use the reciprocating saw and demo it out. It's always a great idea to use eye and ear protection, and who doesn't own a mask these days? So my original thought was to kind of chop this jetted tub into pieces. I was using a metal blade at first. Then I realized even if I could cut to the bottom of the bathtub, I needed to remove the rail next to it to get to the bottom. I originally was gonna cut large sections of the bathtub and try to get it out in fewer pieces, um, but I was still struggling to even get the fiberglass bathtub cut. So I think I figured out what my problem was. I was using a metal cutting blade and I should have been using a wood cutting blade for this fiberglass. Now that I realize that the wood cutting blade is a lot easier, I decided to cut in smaller chunks. So, so it allowed me to rip the fiberglass easier and then once I got a little piece cut, I was able to go across the bottom. You also have to be careful you know, take a look inside and make sure there's no electrical wires or um, drains or faucets that you're going to be accidentally cutting. So you always have to look behind the uh, bathtub. Another tip is to always have a towel and a cup ready because any of these PVC pipes will still have a lot of residual water inside. Well, I think this about does it for the uh, bathtub demo. Uh, some, a few things I learned. 
Number one, I would use a wooden blade instead of a metal blade. Use a wood blade instead of a metal blade. Number two, I learned that it was easier to cut like a skinny piece of fiberglass. And then when I got, when it was really skinny and long, then I could just pull it down and then I can work my way around. A few things you want to be careful of. The water, where the water's coming from. The drain, you want to make sure you disconnect the drain and remove the, the pipe all the way so it's not touching or it's not sitting on your uh, main drain. There's going to be some electrical source because it's a jetted tub. So make sure to figure out where that electrical source is coming from so you don't saw through it. Make sure you turn off the power. Make sure you turn off the water. Um, other than that, I think that's all the tips that I have. So I'm going to spend the next uh, couple of hours walking all this downstairs and into the garbage can. Um, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIYs or uh, product reviews. And uh, this is Raymond, and if I can do it, you can too.